Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on representation of graphs. In the representation of graphs, there are uh, one type of representation is matrix representation of graphs. In the matrix representation of graphs, there are uh, two types. One is a uh, adjacency matrix representation and second one is incidence matrix representation. In the case of adjacency matrix representation, again it is two types, adjacency matrix representation for undirected graphs, second one is adjacency matrix representation for directed graphs that we have discussed in the previous video. Okay. Next one, second one is incidence matrix representation. Again, it is a two types, incidence matrix representation for undirected graph, incidence matrix representation for directed graph. Incidence matrix representation for undirected graph that we are discussed in the previous video. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about the incidence matrix representation for directed graph. Okay, now, so this is the uh, given directed graph. It can be written as G of V comma E. So here G is a directed graph with vertex set V is equal to v1, v2, v3, v4, v5 and edge set E contains e1, e2, e3, e4, e5, e6, e7, e8 and e9. Okay. So, the given graph is a directed graph. It contains vertex set ordered from v1, v2, v3, v4, v5 and edge set contains e1, e2, e3, e4, e5, e6, e7, e8 and e9. Okay. Now, this graph can be represented by using incidence matrix. The incidence matrix can be denoted by i suffix g is equal to M capital M suffix I comma J with the size M by M. So this is the incidence matrix for the given directed graph G is denoted by I suffix G is equal to M I J with the size N comma M where N is nothing but number of vertices and M is nothing but number of edges. So, the incidence matrix M suffix IJ with 5 comma 9. 5 is nothing but number of vertices P1, B2, B3, B4 and B5 and edges M is nothing but number of edges that is 9 edges. So, E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, E8 and E9. Okay. So, is equal to, it can be denoted as row wise. Row wise, we have to write a vertices. So, that is a V1, a V2, a V3, a V4, V5. N is nothing but number of vertices, that is 5. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Next, M is nothing but number of edges, that is 9 edges. So, that is the E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7, E8 and E9. Okay. So, row wise vertices we are taken, column wise edges we are taken. Okay. So, the elements of the incidence matrix can be filled by using this rule. Okay. So, how we are filling these values? So, this matrix contains three values, plus one, minus one and zero values. 
how we are filling plus one, minus one, and zero values. Okay, please observe carefully. So, in the similar way that we have discussed in the previous video, first of all, I am concentrating only on columns. Okay, in the column one, E1 H is there. E1 H can be observed in the above graph. E1 H incident on vertex B2 and vertex V1. Among the vertex B2 and vertex V1, which vertex is the starting vertex of the given edge E1? So, the edge E1 starting from V2 and go to V1. So, because of that reason, for this edge E1, starting vertex is a V2 and ending vertex is V1. Okay, starting vertex is V2. Here we are putting plus 1. Ending vertex is V1. Here we are putting value minus 1. Okay. For the given edge E1. Okay. The starting vertex is V2. So that we are putting plus 1. Ending vertex is V1. So that we are putting minus 1 value. At the remaining vertices we are putting the values zeros. Okay. Next one. Go for edge E2. Okay. Second column. Edge E2. Edge E2 incident on V2 and V3. Okay. Edge E2 starting from vertex V2 and ending with vertex V3. Okay. So starting vertex is V2. So at Edge E2 we are putting value plus 1 at vertex V2 and minus 1 at vertex V3. And the remaining places, we are putting the values zeros. Okay. Now consider column 3. Column 3 is nothing but E3. So E3 is incident on V3 and V1. So E3 edge starting from vertex V3 and ending with the vertex V1. Starting vertex is V3. So that at vertex V3, we are putting plus 1. And ending vertex is V1. So we are putting value minus 1. At remaining places, we are putting the values zeros. Next one. At edge E4, this is the fourth column in the given matrix. E4 edge incident on V1 and V4 vertices. The edge E4 going from V4 to V1. So that starting vertex is V4. And ending vertex is a V1. So V4 is the starting vertex. We are putting plus 1. And V1 is ending, wedge, ending vertex. So that is we are putting value minus 1. At the remaining places we are putting values zeros. Next one. Go for fifth column. Fifth column edge E5. Edge E5 incident on V3 and V4. Okay. Next Edge E5 starting from vertex V3 and ending with vertex V4. So starting vertex is V3 so that we are putting plus 1 and ending vertex is V4 we are putting minus 1 value. Okay. At the remaining places we are putting the values zeros. Okay. Next. Next go for sixth column in the matrix that is the E6. Okay. E6 observed in the given graph E6. E6 edge incident on V5 and V3. E6 edge starting from V5 and ending with the V3. So V5 starting vertex we are putting plus 1. And the ending is V3. So we are putting minus 1. At the remaining places we are putting the zeros values. Okay. Next one. Next one is uh, seventh column that is the E7. E7 edge between uh, V3 and V5. Edge E7 starting from vertex V3 and ending with the uh, vertex V5. At vertex V3 we are putting plus 1. At vertex V5 we are putting minus 1. At the remaining places we are putting values zeros. Next one. 
Next, we can go for 8th column in the given matrix, that is the E8. E8 edge incident on vertices V4 and V5. Edge E8 starting from V4 and ending with V5. So, starting vertex V4, we are putting plus 1. And ending vertex V5, we are putting minus 1. And the remaining places, we are putting the values zeros. Okay, next one. We can go for a ninth column in the given matrix, that is the E9. E9 edge is incident between V4 and V5. Okay, starting vertex is V4 and ending vertex is V5 for the given edge E9. So that starting vertex V4 and ending vertex is a V5. So that is a minus 1. Minus 1. Okay. And the remaining places, we are putting the values zeros. Okay. So, this is the incidence matrix. This is the incidence matrix representation. Representation for the given directed graph for the given directed graph. So, this is the given directed graph. For the given directed graph and this is the uh, incidence matrix uh, representation. Okay. So, here So, we are observing the incidence matrix for the above uh, given directed graph. Okay. So, any column contains plus 1 and minus 1 values. Okay. This column contains plus 1 and minus 1. Single plus 1 and single minus 1. Okay. This column contains plus 1, minus 1. 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 This column contains plus 1 and minus 1. This column plus 1, minus 1. This column plus 1, minus 1. This column plus 1, minus 1. Every column contains single plus 1 and single minus 1. Because every column represents one edge. Every edge going from one vertex to and their vertex, okay. One edge starting from one vertex, so that starting vertex contains plus one value. That edge goes to one ending vertex, that ending vertex contains minus one value. Because each and every edge can contain uh, plus one and minus one value. At plus one, the starting vertex of the edge at minus 1, the ending edge of the ending vertex of the given edge. Okay. So, this is the uh, given graph and this is the incidence matrix representation. So, now we can go for the definition. Okay. Let G is equal to V comma E is an directed graph. So, this is the given directed graph. With n vertices, how many number of vertices are there? 5 vertices. So, that is n is equal to 5. Uh, ordered from V1 to V5. And the m edges ordered from E1 to E9. E1 to E9. So, m is equal to 9. So, that is a 5 by 9 matrix. So, 5 vertices and 9 edges. Okay. Next one, then the incidence matrix representation of order 5 by 9 is denoted by I suffix G or I of G. The elements of the matrix I of G is equal to Mij 5 by 9 is defined as Mij is equal to plus 1 if Vi is the initial vertex of edge Ej. Okay. For the given edge EJ, VI is the starting vertex. Then we are putting the value plus 1. Next, if VI is the final or ending vertex of edge EJ, 
then we are putting value minus 1. And the remaining cases, 0 otherwise. Okay. Suppose if the graph is a undirected graph, change all minus 1 to plus 1. Then the incidence matrix is becomes. Okay. If the graph is undirected graph, if the graph is undirected graph, then change all minus 1 entries to plus 1 entries. Okay. So, suppose this graph can be taken as undirected graph. Then, what are the changes that we have to be done? All minus 1 entries can be changed to plus 1 entries. Because in the case of undirected graph, okay, so only contains plus 1, plus 1. Because every edge in between two vertices, okay, so V1, V2, in between E1 edge is there. So that edge can be written as V1 to V2 edge or V2 to V1 edge. So because of that reason, the incidence matrix contains only uh, ones. Okay. In the case of directed graph, it contains three values, plus one, minus one, zero. In the case of undirected graph, it contains only two values, one and zero. Okay. So this is the description about the incidence matrix representation of directed graph. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divvela Srinivas Rao. Thank you.